Hello guys, Bud here with Dependable Lawn Care and right now I'm working on beefing up the hinges on my trailer gate because that's where the vacuum is going to hang at. I've, I've decided that uh, because of where the latch is at on this side there's not enough room on this gate without changing the latch to have the blower mounted over here. That's where I was originally going to do it but plan B is on this gate. This gate's completely open, except for the D-ring, which won't matter because that won't even be in the way. And so I've decided this is going to be the gate where I mount the vacuum. So, with that being said, let me show you the, the factory hinges. Okay, this is a pretty standard uh, hinge on these dump trailers seen this same hinge used on a couple different ones um, this one in particular it's just got a, a pin through it and then on the bottom actually that doesn't even have the the key in it I'm probably gonna replace these with bolts like I did on the other side but anyways it's just a, a pin with a keeper in it so that's that's basically what your what your door pivots on right so what I did is I went to my local trailer supply and this is a local business it's not uh, it's not a chain business or anything so it's not something you guys would would maybe have in your neck of the woods but uh, for me it's it's literally like three minutes from my house but they uh, they build trailers they repair trailers and they do a lot of other uh, custom metal fabrication so it's my place to go for for steel and all of that kind of stuff. Well, anyways, for five bucks, you can buy this replacement hinge that is a, uh, you know, weld into place. It's already got the, the copper or brass, I think it's brass, sorry, but it's got the brass bushing in there and the washer and everything. Well, I took the bolt out and I just ran one bolt up through the existing hinge and that hinge, it's a half inch bolt so now it's just basically it's carrying that that's not welded into place and i did that on the top and i did it down here on the bottom okay so let me so this is what i took out it's just literally a hinge pin and then it had a little cotter key in the bottom of it holding it in and this is what the hinge came with that i bought that i purchased Again, those were like five bucks a piece, so no big investment. And I replaced that with this, but a longer version. So that's what I have in here. And I ran this one from the bottom because right here's the bracket for the, for the tarp. So obviously that's in the way. So I ran that bolt from the bottom, ran this bolt from the top. And my plan is to obviously weld this in place weld the bracket you know the base piece into place and that's going to be the extra support that i need for the trailer gate to handle the weight of the billy goat vacuum uh, this thing's a beast it weighs about 500 pounds and i just want to hang it on that gate and so all of the weight is going to be on those hinges so that's the number one thing that i've already i've already learned is that i'm going to have to beef up the hinges so that's my plan anyways that's it for right now just wanted to show you guys that in case you're doing a similar build as always thanks for watching get out there and make some money and we'll catch you on the next one